What's up guys? Nice day in the woods. Feels like spring. Even though crypto feels like summer. There's a lot of good pumps today. I think Bitcoin broke 54K. I got asked on uh, Patreon from my a member who's in my high tier Alpha Wolf. By the way guys, that tier is closing in two days. At the start of this video, I have 11 spots. Once either that fills up or two days passes, that tier is going to be closed permanently. But that being said, um, me and Dion today in our live stream, we're talking about trading. Trading versus uh, investing, right? The smart money and people that have skin in the game, how when we buy crypto, we buy and we hold for multipliers. We don't try to flip it for a 2x, 3x. A lot of newbie investors I noticed, and even people that have been around, they think the only way to make gains is to buy a brand new crypto that nobody's talking about, has like no exchange listings. I'm um, super early, it's a two million market cap. And not realize that there's so many factors that make a crypto pump, you know? It, it doesn't have to be brand new, it can be older, it doesn't have to be on, you know, Coinbase, it could be on another exchange. Like there's so many different factors, admins, marketing, partnerships, catalysts that there's more than one way to make money and you know right now we're seeing pangolin png pump like crazy i literally warned everybody on twitter i made my videos saying guys it's bullish like i've been aggressively buying it i bought a pretty big bag at eight cents and i dca twice at 25 cents i even told my discord members word for word a breakout's coming i just had a gut instinct and sure enough it's breaking 50 cents now but, you know, this is the nature of having experience. I'm not a crystal ball expert. I know some will probably comment th down below and say that. But this is the nature of crypto. A lot of people, you know, they fall for FUD. They had this disbelief. They think, uh, you know, certain crypto is bullish for whatever reason or certain crypto is bearish for another reason. And, you know, I always say you guys should be researching every single day. I spend hours researching and none of my picks are random, you know. And I'm actually glad the majority of YouTube doesn't like my picks because if they did they would be pumped too quick and i wouldn't be able to accumulate them at cheap prices almost my entire portfolio has gotten fun at some point and i really don't see any big youtuber or really any youtuber whatsoever aside from uh a few that actually are bullish on my picks or like my picks so it's pretty cool to see that you know i'm trying to prove a point here that you can be a quote-unquote normie investor and still make a lot of money this cycle i'm pretty much already debunked that myth already but i want you guys to also make it with me a lot of us here are trying to make life-changing gains find the 100x and listen penguin's gonna be a 100x call art block's gonna be a 100x call Cash is going to be a 100x call. LCX is going to be a 100x call. There's been so many good calls lately upon first entry. And, you know, I'm just very excited. Now's the time to not make so many mistakes. You're going to make them anyway. Obviously, it's part of the growth process. But now's the time to really be figuring things out. Really take a look at your portfolio and see what you can fix. And in terms of uh, this trading mindset, trading is so short-sighted. And I feel like a lot of influencers think... You know, they try to say, guys, a fallacy that quick money is the only way. And a lot of people, unfortunately, especially those prone to gambling, they'll fall for this. Hey, guys, you can make 100K in a week if you just copy my trades, if you just follow my trades. And it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Like, the real money's made with buy and hold investing. You buy at cheap bottom prices and you hold for multipliers and then you sell. It's not buying, getting a 2X, getting a 3X and trying to do that every single day, especially when you have a job a very time consuming job like who has time to make all these trades get tax and then have to worry about getting back in at the right time or whatever you know all these uh quote unquote influencers who think they're masters at doing this they're all full of shit and also understand youtube it's social media no one's gonna post their losses every time you sell a crypto for a quick trade and you become greedy trying to get more coins you literally are risking losing multipliers, losing tokens. And I've done this too with Bluezell. Bluezell, I made a 3x. It kept rocket shipping and my ego won't let me get back into it despite being a good crypto because I lost out on my amazing entry. You know, Caspo, I had a few members, you know, a long time ago that were swing trading Caspo. One of them left my Discord. He swing traded his entire bag and he had to buy a little bit higher. He got back in by, by you know, inches, but... It was very crazy. And I told him, I said, you are playing with fire swing trading your Casper bag. But a lot of people, like I say all the time, they learn with experience. They learn by getting wrecked, which unfortunately is the majority 
that happen in this market. People don't learn the easy way anymore. They learn the hard way. And some probably prefer learning that way, which, you know, you do you. But like I said, the safest way to make money, a lot of money in this space, in my opinion, is to buy and hold. You buy when no one else is buying. You buy when you see red. You don't get so scared. And you hold and be patient with your investments. All my utility plays at one point or another were suppressed. You know, I pulled up today on my live stream the charts of LCX, Art Block, PNG, and uh, I forget the other one. I think it was Bluesdale. But all the charts look exactly the same, including uh, Dragon Chain, another one that Dion likes. We pulled up all the charts, the year charts, the old charts, the month charts. They were all identical. They were all suppressed. They were all beat down. They all looked like quote unquote scams. And they're all pretty much up in the green for the past year. They're all up massively in the green. You see the trend here? And they're not new crypto. They're not, you know, just got listed on Coinbase or Binance or whatever else you hear. This is what I mean, guys. A lot of people learn the hard way. And like I said, there's going to be more crypto to come. There's going to be more games to come. But if you want to catch these trains before they depart, you have to start being your own investor. And take the time to actually research. Don't wait for everybody to give you confirmation buys. I don't care if you guys follow me and like five other YouTubers. Don't wait for all of us to come in agreement. First of all, it's never going to happen. A lot of YouTubers disagree. It's actually good though for this space. You don't want to see an echo chamber where all of us sound like parrots. To me, it doesn't really give you guys any value. There's more than one way to make money. There's more than one crypto that will rock a ship. So... Different opinions is actually healthy in a space. So if you as a retail investor feel stressed out because you're being pulled in all different directions, it's not so much as you differentiating who's right, who's wrong, because, hey, you know, we're all going to have different picks. The goal for you is to just do your own independent research and take what we say with a grain of salt. Take what we say at surface level base value, step one. And then once you do your research, you decide for yourself. Hey, am I bullish or bearish? Do I want to get in or stay away? There's nothing wrong with that. I've covered crypto before and I've had members of mine who said, John, great reasons, good video, but I'm not going to buy that one. And I said, cool, that's fine. Listen, it doesn't matter. I don't make videos for you guys to jump into crypto that I jump into. You know, even on my Discord, if you ever join, it's an awesome community, by the way. A lot of my members there have different picks. They're talking about a crypto right now that I haven't gotten into. And it looks pretty good. But this is how it is. You know, you got to be your own independent investor. If you want to be like a whale, you got to think like a whale. And there's no whale that's a sheep investor. They all are like their own wolf. They go out, they hunt, they buy, they eat, and they wait. They wait. This is a waiting game. I know you probably don't want to hear that. Especially if you're used to trading crypto or following YouTubers who just want to trade and, and sell you guys this narrative of fast money. Listen, just like how fast food is so unhealthy compared to making food at home, it's the same in crypto in my opinion. You can make some money trading, sure. Just don't get so you know, brainwashed and thinking you have to do it the majority of the time to make money. You can do it 10% of the time, maybe 20% of the time, even though I barely do it these days. But the minute you start thinking you have to chase fast money is the minute you start losing your money fast. And then you start becoming a burned bitter investor and we see enough of those in the comments don't we so like i said guys i guess you could call this a reminder but it really is important to make sure you're walking forward just like how i'm walking in the woods today i'm walking forward you don't want to be going backwards okay we're not michael jackson here we're not moonwalking maybe some of you guys can moonwalk but i'm not um the goal here is to move forward because you know as we get closer to the having we're gonna see some really crazy gains and right now what we're seeing is just the tip of the iceberg the potential of what's to come is going to be crazy you have not seen the real pumps yet this is like the appetizer when the main course comes we're gonna be like holy crap this is amazing and with that being said now i want to hear from you when are you planning on selling your crypto and when do you think the rips are going to take place drop your comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this video please leave a like it really helps so much that being said i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next one